That's correct. So he's addressing the Christians and the Jews. So he's saying, I don't believe that. No, that's what it says in there. This is your scriptures. No, but that's not. Have you had a good day, Kieran? No, that's what it says. Eh? Yeah, that's what it says. Good conversation. I spoke to many people today, yeah. yeah. As in, like, your people. Yeah, it's just been amazing. Um, we prayed and asked for many people to speak to today, and God's has given us many people to speak to, and some more along with that. Amen. So we're not finished, we have another hour and a half to go. <laughs> Amen. It's great to be here with the lads today. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Always praise yeah. God, man. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, it's great to talk so, to you, bro. Nice talking to you, man. So, all, we're always going to learn. We're all, everyone's on a, on a learning curve, regardless. It says a non can change his words. So when Muslims, a lot of Muslims say to me, the Bible's been corrupted. But if the Quran says no one can change God's words, how can the Bible be corrupted? Because it was written twice. Old Testament, New Testament. No. It says none can change his words. Yes. So but how many? But why is there? Why is there? Why is there two different types of books? There? Well, I think what you got to understand is the old. Because you can't. That's what I said about the Quran. That's why I mentioned no, the Quran. So because you got to understand is the Old Testament that was written during the time of Moses. Yeah. Okay. As time passed, Jesus came on the scene. And we have the, the Old Testament that talks about the old. So the, and which which is the Jews?